Today, I'm going to show you how you can calculate the odds of multiple colors coming together using the Punnett square and some simple multiplication. You can use this to calculate one or more colors or traits. We'll use it to figure out the odds of getting a visible Isabella colored dog from multiple carriers. An Isabella dog, which is a diluted version of brown, requires two copies of both the recessive genes BB brown and DD dilute, both in lower cases. And if you need more information on the difference between dominant and recessive genes, we have a video about that on our channel. So our stud is going to carry forward the gene pairings Big B, Little B as a brown carrier, Big D, Little D as a dilute carrier, and AT slash A as a visible tan point carrier. Our dam will also have Big B, Little D and Big D, Little D as a carrier, but she will have AA on the A locus, meaning she's a solid. We'll start off by drawing a grid of four squares. We'll solve the brown gene first, so we'll take that gene from dad and separate the letters along the top. So we'll have a capital letter first representing his dominant copy, followed by a small letter representing his recessive copy. We'll do the exact same thing with our dam, but running vertically. Next, we'll match the horizontal and vertical intersections. So in our first square, we'll have two big B's. The next one is big B, little b. The next one will be little b, big b. And the last one will be little b, little b, which is our only visibly brown dog. We'll have two other carriers and one other dog that carries no copies. Each square in this instance would represent a 25% chance. So we'll have a 25% chance of a brown dog, a 50% chance of having carriers, and another 25% chance of having no copies at all. Since we're after an Isabella, we'll make note of that 25% chance we need for that to occur. Next, we'll move on to the dilute gene. And since it's calculated in the identical way, I won't walk you through it because we'll end up with another table that looks the same for the dilute gene. Meaning, again, we'll end up with a 25% chance of a visibly dilute or blue dog, a 50% chance of carriers, and a 25% chance of no copies at all. All right, so we know that we have a 25% chance of visibly dilute and a 25% chance of visibly brown. So how do we calculate the odds of those lining up together to create our Isabella? We'll take our brown gene and express the percentage as a decimal at 0.25, and we'll do the same with our dilute gene. Then we'll multiply them together and arrive at 0.0625, or as a percentage, we have a 6.25% chance of creating an Isabella from these two dogs. We'll do one more example. This time I'll show you how to do it without the multiplication because I mean less math is better, right? We'll calculate the odds of these two dogs being brown with tan points this time. We know that since AT is dominant over A, we'll only need one pairing unlike the recessive color genes we were looking at previously. You could be tempted to just write these letters across but you'll end up with a jumbled mess. So let me walk you through the right way. So our male is big B, little b, A, T, A. So our first task is to come up with every possible arrangement that could be passed. We could have big B, A, T, big B, A, little b, A, T, or little b, A. Our dam is big B, small b, A, A. So all of her only two arrangements could be either big B, small a or small b small a. You could come up with four arrangements of the same thing, but when pairing together like this, there's no need to write them out four times because you'll arrive at the same answer with less work. So we're going to make a pun and square of four rows and two columns. Then we'll take all of dad's possible arrangements and fill them along the top. We'll do the same thing for mom on the side. We'll fill in everything exactly the same way we did with our simple Punnett square and determine the odds of these combinations occurring. We'll find that the gene pairings we're looking for occurs one out of the eight times as little b, little b, a, t, slash, a, which is a brown dog with tan points. Or expressed as a percentage, we have a 12.5% chance of this gene pair occurring. Now you could find some genetic calculators to help you out, including one I've got in development currently, but it's a great thing to know how to do on your own. And when you see it for yourself, you'll have a better idea on what's even worth looking at. Also, remember that while these are calculated odds, 
It doesn't always play out this way and you could end up on either side of your calculation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos coming up on interpreting your dog's DNA and you can look forward to some great interviews with industry experts on other topics that can help you give the most to your pups. Thanks again everyone and we'll see you real soon.